hello 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 and welcome to my youtube channel it is i your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess make sure the fro is popping <laughs> if you're new to my channel welcome <laughs> if you're returning thank you so much for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is going to be your december end of the year 2020 general zodiac reading for the cusp of capricorn aquarius capricorn aquarius you are the cusp of mystery and imagination so if you were born between January the 16th and January the 22nd, you are a mystery and imagination cusp baby. You're a, cusp, you're a Capricorn Aquarius cusper. So your birthdays are coming. Um, first of all, I hope everyone is enjoying their month of November. This is the last day for um, November. And I know I'm late as always with the Zodiacs, but nonetheless, they'll be on time next month. I can assure you that. I hope. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope everyone is in good spirits. I hope everyone is staying healthy. I hope everyone is, you know, eating healthy. I hope everyone is, you know, raising their vibrations and just kind of like living life to the fullest. Because with everything that went down in 2020, I really hope people are embracing family, friends, loved ones, you know, maybe being a little bit more romantic, maybe be a little more sweet. I'm a lovey-dovey person. I'm a goofy, silly, lovey person. So I love romance and I love to laugh and I love to be goofy and silly. And, you know, that's my energy. So I hope everyone is just kind of like really embracing that energy right now because it's necessary. But anyway, we're not going to make this long. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get started because we need to find out what's going on with Capricorn Aquarius, cusp of imagination. I'm sorry, cusp of mystery and imagination. Woo! I already pre-shuffled, but I'll give it a quick shuffle. Three quick shuffles. Um, if, as I've been doing it for the past few months, I'm going to do it again this month. So I'm going to do you and your person. So I'm not going to explain it every single month. This is the last month I'm explaining it. Next month I won't. But anyway, how your person sees you, how you see your person, what you don't want your person to know, what your person, that your person doesn't want you to know, and the overall energy for the both of you for the month. Let's give a few more shuffles. Make it six, right? That was five and six. All right, Capricorn Aquarius Cuspers. Good time to shine. Spirit, what does it Capricorn Aquarius? I'm sorry. How does Capricorn Aquarius person see them in December 2020? How are they viewing them? Page of Pentacles. Maybe there's some kind of offer. Nope, Spirit said no. Maybe there's some kind of offer on the table. Maybe they bring something to the table, something good to the table. I mean, Capricorn energy, generally speaking, they are the table, right? I know my sister's a Capricorn. She's a hard worker. She works really hard. She's always working. A little snooty. I love you, Sandy. Um, but she's always working. So let's see. Mmm. So how does your person see you, Cap Aquarius? Your person sees you as resourceful. Mm -hmm. I definitely get that. I get that because it's the page of Wom, the page of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. So I get a resourceful type of energy. Like they may you may keep them out, out in the dark about things, but that's not really the vibe I'm getting at with that five of pentacles and that page of pentacles. I'm getting more like resourceful. Like you bring something good to the table. You shine a light on places, you know, that was dim. And they feel like I see you like growing, like they see you on a mission. Like, you know how powerful you are. Like, you know what you can bring to the table. Like, you know that. Spirit, what does Capricorn Aquarius's person, how does Capricorn Aquarius see their person? Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. Ooh. You see your person as being argumentative. Like y'all argue a lot. And you go through the same things over and over again. Like you, you want them to embrace this. Because something tells me that this relationship could be rather new. And you want them to embrace this as that. But I feel like you're getting the same thing over and over again. And you're getting a runaround or you're getting like repetitive cycles. 
I don't know. I'm just getting that. With the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands, I'm like, are you getting like a lot of conflict? Like someone's guard is always up or you keep going through the same thing over and over again? Spirit, what doesn't Capricorn Aquarius want the person to know for December 2020? You care about something. Mm, your femininity. You're growing too. You're growing too. Keep getting that daggone empress energy. Somebody pregnant, I promise you. But nonetheless... You're, you're coming to a realization about yourself. Like, it's more than just, like, destiny. This is divine. You are divine. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Ooh, I got goosebumps. Look at them goosebumps. Like, you don't want them to know about something. I get this motherly energy, though. Some of you are keeping a pregnancy secret. That's what I'm getting. You haven't told them that you're pregnant. Mm. For some of you, it's about growth. But for some, a lot of you, or a, a good portion, a portion of you, you're pregnant. Pregnant. Spirit, what doesn't Capricorn Aquarius this person want them to know? Or you got somebody pregnant, this is a man. Ace of Swords, mm, King of Wands, King of Wands, and King of Swords. Your person doesn't want you to know that they are literally going crazy. They're creating scenarios that don't exist. This is why they always arguing with you because they. I feel like your person might be a little damaged. They might have gone through some things in the past that have caused them to be very side eye to new relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like, should I trust you? I don't know. But they're trying to get out of that. They're trying to, and you know, make good decisions. They're trying to be a leader. They're trying to be more um, confident in themselves. Hmm. So they're they are going crazy about that, and that's something that you don't know. It's not they. They're not doing it to piss you off. They got some inner issues. Definitely. Spirit overall energy for Capricorn Aquarius for the month of December 2020. Yeah. They don't want you to know that because. You know, you might, <laughs> you might walk away. Mm. You might be making a power move and walking away. Because you know how resourceful you are. Yeah. And you can't tell, like, I'm not taking on another project. Like, I got to fix you. I'm trying to fix myself. I got to fix you. Like, this makes you feel defeated. Like, they make you feel defeated. Every chance. Even though you're very bonded to them. You're very close to them. Like, you feel like this is your soulmate, Twin Flame, right? But I feel like you're losing your power. And you want, the, you want your power back. Hmm. Your overall energy for Capricorn Aquarius this person for December 2020. Libra energy, making things right. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody might be trying to step up to the plate. Somebody might be trying to step up to the plate. Ooh, they learned something from you. Mm, Capricorn energy. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely an opportunity coming for this union to have a new beginning okay to plant a different seed because apparently the seed was planted in dirty soil like it's some old you know shitty soil because they they're they have inner issues that have nothing to do with you nothing i promise you but they want to make it right they want to work they want to build they want to take care of you they're attached to you they don't want to let go i kind of get that vibe i don't know y'all Kind of get that vibe. Kind of get that vibe. Let's 
get one more shuffle. All right, Spirit, please clarify, how does Capricorn Aquarius person see them? Eight of Wands, Temperance, and the Strength card. <laughs> they know you keep it something from them. They know you are. But they also know that you're resourceful. They also know that you have a plan. Like you are the you are the man with the plan, or you are the gal with the plan. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know what you want to do. You bring the table. You know what I'm saying? You bring the table. So <laughs> they see you as strong. They see you as confident, very confident. And then I feel like like you pour out knowledge. Like you pour out information. Like you're constantly giving like like feeding yourself more information more knowledge you're always learning and growing but i feel like something about that like you 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 do it too quickly for them like they feel like they got caught up with you and then nope i'm already at this level exceeded you catch up motherfucker like you just get into the step two i'm on step 12 what are you doing like like, your person sees you as being great, okay? And I really feel like they don't, like, they don't think they could, like, live up to your expectations. Spirit, Capricorn Aquarius, how do they see their person? Please clarify. Feminine. And it could be a good or bad thing. That could be a good or bad thing. Mmm, secrets, lies. You're very argue your person's very argumentative energy is very feminine to you. Very. And again, here goes that that um empress, somebody pregnant. Um fulfillment. Desires fulfilled. Like they can fulfill your desires. However, they keep a lot of secrets. There could be a lot of like, they could be a pathological liar. Like, that could be how you see them. Spirit, please clarify. What doesn't Capricorn Aquarius want their person to know? Six of Swords. Moving forward. Leaving a lot of things behind. Tired of repeating cycles. Guard up. They don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. You don't. You don't want to be alone. But you're growing. You're growing tremendously. And I feel like for some of you, like I said, you're pregnant. <laughs> and like you feel alone. Like I like now is not the time to say anything because I don't want to fight. But things will calm down and you can have that conversation. Like I said, some of you need to have a conversation about growth and some of you need to have a conversation about being pregnant. It could be by them, but it don't matter. You still need to have a conversation. Spirit, please clarify. What doesn't Capricorn Aquarius person want them to know? Queen of Cups. They care a lot. They care deeply. They have deep feelings. Like mother nurturing kind of feelings, okay? King of Pentacles. Mmm. One more card, Spirit. Ten of Wands. Your person has a, a, a heavy burden, a lot of baggage. I told you they do. They got they it, Whatever they got going on, got nothing to, nothing to do with you. Generally, they're a caring person. Generally, you know, they keep, they keep things in order. They are a, a, a masculine, but if there's something that happened to them, could be prior to you. So I feel like this relationship is rather new. So it could be something that happened prior to them meeting you that they've accumulated this baggage that's hard for them to let go of spirit overall energy please clarify capricorn aquarius overall energy for december 2020 
making choices. Two of Swords. They gotta see this. You gotta see this or what this is so you can make the right choice. Take the woolly off, off from around your eyes. Capricorn Aquarius, we have the Queen of Wands energy. Definitely dominant. Definitely dominant. We have the Justice card, balance. Gotta make this right. You gotta make this right. You got to. You have to. Whatever that is to you, I can't tell you what that is. I feel like what it is, though, is taking your power back. That's how you're gonna make it right. Like owning your power, your feminine power. And I feel like they want to make it right too. Spare overall energy for Capricorn Aquarius's person. Four of Cups, untrustworthy. They want to trust you though. I do feel like they want to trust you. But there's been betrayal. That Ten of Swords is real strong today. But they're starting to see things differently, creating more balance, trying to, you know, handle that balance. Universe is giving you an opportunity. Can you do it? I told you, a bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in this deck. So Universe is definitely giving you an opportunity for a new beginning. Can you handle it? That's the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the other deck. Can you handle it? Your person's energy, making things right, being more of a masculine energy. Wanting to be able to see this different. Wanting to let go of their pain, that hurt that they've had in the past. They want to let go of it, but they don't... They're very. It's very hard for them to trust people. But they're trying. They're trying to see things differently, okay? Now, let's see before my phone dies. Because only my behind would um, start a phone, start a, lot, start a YouTube video with only 15% left. Bruh. Only me. and get some confirmation spirit please confirm capricorn aquarius how does that how does that person see them working on yourself they see you working on yourself they definitely do and making changes quickly I feel like you're not focused about them. No matter how much love they offer you, you're focused on yourself. You got the eight of wands twice. You're making moves. A lot of things coming at you. You know, you're strong, you're brave, you're resilient. Like, I get that vibe from you. And you're constantly working on yourself. And with that being said, even, even with this offer of love on the table, even with that, it's just like, I'm focused. You know, they know you're focused. You got a lot of changes. You know, with that eight of wands, you're trying to, to make you know, come about. Spirit, please confirm how does Capricorn Aquarius see their person? A liar hiding secrets. The fool never ready. Never ready. I don't know why, but I get that. You feel like they're very feminine. Like they need to grow up, I feel. And not easily, not hard, and not easily. They don't easily let go of the past at all. They keep a lot of secrets. And, and I feel like they jump around too. Like in the middle of a journey, they'll stop and go on a new journey. They do that a lot. Like you are the fool. Like you are, you move unprepared. You don't move. They don't move prepared at all. That might be what's turning you off. Spirit, please confirm. Oh, um, please confirm what Capricorn Aquarius doesn't want that person to know. You're taking different actions to cleanse your energy. Dreams coming true. Hermit mode. Keep it to yourself. Solitude. Definitely. You're in a growth process right now, so you're looking deep inside yourself for some answers. Again, like I said, some of you are pregnant, don't know what to do, and you're worried. Also hermit energy. Dreams coming true. This is what you wanted. It is. But I feel like for some of you, it's pregnancy. For some of you, it's growth. Like, I want it to grow. I, I wanted it. You know, so what you don't want them to know is that you're going to you're going to make the moves you have to make regardless of what they're going to feel. So some of you might be keeping the baby. Some of you might not. Spirit, please confirm what Capricorn Aquarius person doesn't want them to know for December 2020. 
Lover's energy. They gotta, they gotta make a decision. Mm. Your cap, your your person has to make a decision. They see you as being their their divine. They see you as being their twin. Like, I want a new beginning. I, and maybe it's not you, but may, I'm just saying for some of you it is. And with it being that, it's like, can we do this over, or should I move on and find somebody else to do this with? Because I know that I'm hurt. I know that I'm broken. But can you help me? Like, that's kind of what I get. Can we do this again? That's the Ace of Pentacles again. Can we start over? Can we fix this? Can we make a better choice next time? Like, can we do something different? You are my divine. I'm telling you, pregnancy, that, that empress has been all over the table today. All right? Spirit, please confirm overall energy for Capricorn Aquarius for the month of December 2020. We got some decision making. We got the Queen of Cups again. Queen of Cups energy. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Definitely Caps energy. Three of Cups. Your overall energy is stability. Getting your power back. Owning your power. Your confidence. I feel like you want to you want to rekindle with them. But it's something you have to share. Like some of you are pregnant. And I don't know if it's theirs. It may not be. It may be somebody else's, but there's that three of cups energy it makes you feel like three people. Three, three, from two to three. Baby. No baby, baby. No baby, baby. Like, I'm just telling you. Spirit, please confirm overall energy for Capricorn Aquarius this person for December 2020. Six of swords, moving on. Leaving a lot behind. Your person wants another chance. They want to leave things behind. They have been really hurt. And it may not have been you. Or it could be you. Because you could be pregnant by somebody else. Remember, it's general reading. Take what resonates. The rest, leave it. One more card, spirit. Thank you. Devil card. That's the Capricorn energy right there. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups. Woo, baby. You got every ace on the table. Ace of Cups. You got Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of you are reinventing yourselves. A lot of you are reinventing your situation. A lot of you need it. But your person wants, like, they want to make things right. They know they got some issues. That Capricorn energy real strong, though. So some of you could be dealing with another Capricorn. Or you could be the one that betrayed them. And you could be pregnant by somebody else. Or you could have got somebody else pregnant. Like I said, take what resonates. The rest, leave it, please. Don't hit me up. Oh, my gosh. This didn't resonate with me. And it wasn't meant for you. If you would like a private, personal, more in-depth reading, email me. Hit me up, Facebook or Instagram. That's how you go about that. So we please clarify and confirm. How does Capricorn Aquarius person see them? Free will. Mm, 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 mm. Pride and ego. And a muse. I told you your person knows that you are the cat's meow. They know that. But they also know that they can't make you do nothing that you don't want to do. Free will. They also know that you have pride and ego issues. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not swallowing my pride. And you also inspire them. You inspire them to heal. That's a big deal. Spirit, how does Capricorn Aquarius see their person? Numbing. Deal, not dealing with their pains, signs, and communication. Your person definitely is numbing their pain and their feelings. Something from the past. Okay? I feel like they're getting lots of signs to work on themselves. Spirits, stars, cosmos, whatever. I feel communication with these signs. Like, their spirit is trying to communicate with them on how exactly to get to this healing. Stop numbing the feeling and embrace it and work on it. Okay, spirit. What does a Capricorn person want the person to know? Purge. Inner child. It was that child energy again. Karmic situation. You may have cheated. Or you may have been cheated on. And got pregnant. And I feel like some of you are not keeping a baby. That purge energy makes feel like you're releasing something. You're letting go of things. A lot of bad energy. Some of you it's a pregnancy. Some of you it's growth. Okay? Remember what I said. Take a resonance to rest. Leave it. Star energy, right? Purge. Cleansing. Getting rid of the, your, your feelings and your emotions. Dealing with inner child you know, like some of you could have a child inside of you. It's inner child. Yes, I get that. It's, you know, 
your inner child. But I'm telling you, somebody pregnant. Cause and you got pregnant by a karmic situation. And this is the situation that's gonna change your life. I promise you. Spirit, please clarify and confirm. What does not cap Aquarius person want them to know? Return. They want you to come back to them. Ooh, deception and settling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your person is going to settle for you no matter how much you deceive them. Bitch, shut up. They're going to end up settling for you regardless. Because they want you to return. Like, come back to me. Come back to me. Ooh. <laughs> Even though you've deceived them, they're going to settle. That's not good. No bueno. Spirit, please clarify from overall energy for Cap Aquarius. Mm. Your overall energy is bound. Devil energy, okay? You're bound to something. You have barriers blocking you. And those barriers are in the material world. You don't know how to separate the material from the spiritual. Your material world is this. It makes sense though with the pride and eagle shit. It makes complete sense. Like even though you may find your soulmate or your twin flame, you ain't going. You're not gonna entertain it as such because you're attached to the material world. So some of you may not even be in this relate. It may not be a relationship for you. Some of you could be in an entanglement, a situationship. You know what I'm saying? That's what some of you are are involved in. Spirit, overall energy for Capricorn, Aquarius person, mask, mirroring, and conclusion, bottom of the deck, tribe. Definitely soul energy, okay? Soul connection here between you and your person. Twin flame, mm, karmic, possibly. Now, your person is wearing a mask. They're hiding their true feelings. They're, they're in a lot of pain from things from their past. So they're going to mirror you. Whatever you feel, they feel. Whatever you ask, they're thinking. Like, y'all are literally in tune in that way, but that's because it's a karmic situation. It's not twin flame. Your person is coming to conclusions about this situation. I don't think they want to let go of you. They don't. They. I kind of feel like they both know that you both need healing, and that's what they're focused on. All right, y'all, before this video cuts off, that's it for my Capricorn Aquarius Cuss Babies for your December 2020 end of the year reading. Happy New Year. If this reading has resonated with you, comment. If you're looking for private, personal, more in-depth reading, email me, theblackcosmicgolden at gmail.com, or hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Remember, take what, take what resonates, the rest, leave it. It's not going to always resonate with you. It's a general reading. All right, y'all, enjoy the rest of your month of December. Again, happy holidays, happy New Year. And y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>